little GCN afternoon delight. <laughs> Woo! Did you just come up with that off the top of your head? Just off the top of my head, dude. I wait so until like good. you're like five, four, and I'm like, genius thing to say, genius thing to say. <laughs> Skyrockets in flight. Man. <laughs> It's great to be streaming on Twitch with no pants at one in the afternoon or 12 at night. And if you're in the UK, this is nice. We never do a stream that our, uh, our UK and European and uh, I know. Asian uh, listeners can listen to. This is nice. I know. This is what we got to do. We got to do this more often. I, I honestly do think about that. I think about that a lot. I'm like, what about our our uh, UK folks, all our European folks? Uh, they get they screwed get out of side quest sides. Yeah, they get nothing. Uh, so yeah, once uh, once we can get everybody in the studio at ten in the morning, right? <laughs> we'll, uh, that that's what'll happen. Yeah, uh, just tell Matthew to stop writing plays and Grant to quit his job, and we can stream during the day all the time. The rest of the time, it's a ludicrous suggestion for us to do that. Those two, uh, this they're is really that's just those, those two. two. They're really dragging us down. Uh, we got great numbers here. We need breaking news every week. <laughs> Even when we have nothing to say, we have nothing to say. Make sure you tune in for some breaking news. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I actually put this little screen together here real quick because I wanted to throw up the chat. We so rarely throw up uh, the chat on these things, and uh, I wanted to be able to see it and talk to you guys. And Cindy Gale is in the house. What is up, SG. Cindy Gale? Good to see you, <laughs> SG. Uh, no one so many, it. so many of our favorites, uh, Sharkies here, et cetera, et cetera. So well, many the, uh, people to come out and hang out and get the news. The chat's good because this is going to go up on the tube. That's what the kids call it later. Oh, you want to see, you want to see people's reactions. Be like, boo, or <laughs> yeah, or what? I don't understand. Just so um, you know, every yeah. time you yell, your microphone cuts out. I'm not sure really? what it is, but don't it's yell just, too loud directly. Wonder- it might have well. something to do with the fact that Discord is a garbage fire. Of a <laughs> I think it might have something to do with that. Uh, because I'm an excitable host, and I want to get fired up once in a while. But Discord is like, no, I, we don't know how to handle this. It's we can't, our we only, can't let that happen. It's the only thing this program does, but we're not, we don't know how to handle loud voices. Actually, you know, we have gone through so many permutations of what we need to do. You know what we need to do? Mm. It's pretty simple. You need to stream. You need to learn how to be the one who streams. Then you'll sound great all the time. I know I won't have to, but I can't stream and run a game and resize real twenty and all that shit. We need to hire someone, buy them eleven desktop computers. <laughs> We've talked about this and an apartment with FiOS, <laughs> with like individual FiOS modems going into each computer. No, it's a great idea. This only costs twenty five thousand uh, dollars. We have to have to rent them that that home to do that, and then uh, yeah, we could have a, an offside producer. It'd be great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, as Troy said, it's great to see all you guys. I just wanted to. We want to get down to it really quick. We don't want to take too much of your time, but uh, we're very excited. And, or our uh, time. We, or our time. Uh, we actually have so much to do as a result of uh, the upcoming announcement that we're just uh, we're, we're taking this time, cutting this time out because I personally hate the idea of like. Um, uh, writing an announcement about this. You know what I mean? Like writing a quick promo that gets across all that is going into what we're going to talk about. And so I figured, let's do a little video. Let's just talk to everybody, explain our process, what we've been going through. So what we're going to do real quick is give you the announcement. Right out of the Ooh. gate, we're going to tell you uh, the news, what we've been talking about, what we're excited about. Uh, and it's something we're going to be doing. And then we're going to tell you why we're doing it. And, uh, and then after that, we're just going to get out. And uh, and we'll see. Yeah, and we'll see it Thursday. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it quick. Troy, I kick it to you. Uh, you wanted to tell them what it is we're doing. I, I don't even know where to begin, and I have to do it in a medium voice, evidently. So uh... <laughs> an emotionless okay. voice. Anytime your microphone detects emotion, it cuts out. Right, it's gone. Uh, I waited until you took a drink. Uh, I do that all the time. Like I wait until you're taking that sip, just waiting for that spit take. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, this the the announcement I think is multi-tiered, as you'll see, because there's like the what we're doing, but then there's the why we're doing it, which Joe is going to get into. But even the what we're doing is more than just what the general announcement is. So, if you noticed last week uh, on Instagram, if you follow us on Instagram, if you don't, what are you doing with your life? I don't want to support Facebook. Just join our Instagram. It's fun. You're not supporting. You think Zuckerberg's making any money off of you joining Instagram? Just join it and check it out. We're having a lot of fun on there. Fuck him. And also, uh, 
we put up pictures of logs all week. And then on Friday, there was a very mysterious log that had some dates on there. Well, a lot of people have already figured out. We're bringing a little strange aeons back for three days next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, with the tour being canceled because of the coronavirus and the pandemic and social gatherings being eliminated. You know, obviously it's been a, a hit to our budget, but it's also been a hit to our the game that we really love to play. Sometimes we're on the plane flying to these cities and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm nervous about the show, I'm excited about the show, but it's also like, man, I'm just excited to play some strange aeons because Yes, it's a show. Yes, it's a uh, we're a company that puts on an entertainment product, but we really just like playing our games. We miss Raiders. <laughs> we miss Glass Cannon. We miss Strange Aeons. And by now, we probably would have finished book one and, and been into book two, possibly. We move at a pretty slow pace, uh, but we didn't get to do any of that. Um, so what we're going to do over three days, I don't know how the hell we're going to do this. Saturday, we're going to start, and then Sunday, and then wrap up Monday night. We're going to try and finish book one of Strange Aeons live on Twitch uh, in the closest thing we've ever come to uh, marathon gaming. And we're going to be playing uh, 6 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. We're probably going to go until about 10 p.m. with one break, maybe longer. We'll see how everyone's energy is doing. Do the same thing on Sunday, about 6 p.m. Eastern until 10. And then uh, prime time Monday night around 7 p.m., I think. We're going to go until 10, and hopefully we'll get through book one. Knowing us, we probably won't. Uh, but that's a good 11 hours or so of gaming where we're going to put our best foot forward to try and make up for all the lost story that uh, we've, we've missed out on since uh, the tour got canceled. But that's only a piece of it because that weekend, all weekend long, we are going to be giving updates on what is happening with all the shows that you know and love that we had to put on hiatus. Uh, we're going to be giving you sort of our uh, our plan on how to get back to normal. So, Joe, tell us, tell, let them know why we're doing this and you'll see probably how that's all going to manifest. Well, like you said, first and foremost, there is the just the desire to play that tour show. Um, we really miss it. And uh, hand in hand with that module, that AP and those characters, to me goes the niche and the meetups and the energy and the fun. Uh, and so whenever I think about James or Atticus, I think about how much I miss doing those live shows. Now we can't get that back. We can't force it back. Uh, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna happen. And so we have to take our time and be patient. Uh, but we really wanted to to play this game. Finishing book one is always sort of your. That's the way you always approach things. It's like, well, we got to finish book one. And I'm like, can we can we just can we just have fun and we'll see if we finish book one? <laughs> like, and, and it's a, I mean, if we did sixteen straight hours, you know, we're gonna lose Skid. Like at a certain point, he's gonna be like, I'm out of here. Like he just he's not gonna be able to handle it. Or he'll so, just start uh, sabotaging everything. Like I just <laughs> run directly into the room. Like I'm oh, no, tired. <laughs> Oh, this kid's getting tired. Uh, and uh, and so, yes, there is the element of just wanting to have fun. There's also the business aspect, which is uh, I was doing a lot of streaming over the break early on. The break, I call it. The COVID uh, quarantine early on. And then I stopped. And people were asking me why I stopped. And it's because we have been doing so much more work than we ever have on, like, planning what we need to do. Because we sort of zoomed out on all of our work and everything that we were doing and thought about how to reapproach it. We finally had a break to do that. And so what this uh, marathon weekend is going to do is it's going to give us a chance. Oh, it's Skids here. What's up, buddy? We we're just talking uh, about you. We we're just we we're just talking trash. Uh, <laughs> what we were going to do is um, is do a marathon that would allow us to reveal for you our plans that we've been working on and what it will take to get those things to happen and the time frames in which we believe they will happen. And this is through the fall, essentially. So uh, the reason that we're doing this is because we don't want to roll out announcements uh, about the original shows and what our plans are for them coming back on Instagram or Twitter. We just we don't want to do that. We want to talk to you. We want everybody to be gathered there. We want everybody to be hanging out and we want to explain, uh, you know, obviously COVID pending on a lot of things, what the plan is and how we expect to get there. And there's things that you don't know about yet. Like not just the, the the shows that we have stopped doing, which we want to restart in the fall, but uh, new things, new ideas, new plans that we want to unveil to you uh, during that weekend. It's sort of almost like a state of the nation away. It's setting up 
the next several months uh, and showing you how quarantine has had us relook at everything and decide what we can do and how we can best do it. Um, so that's really why we're doing it. And we figured why not put it in between playing this exciting game of Strange Aeons. So uh, that's that's really sums up the why we're doing it. And and I don't think we're going to have too many more announcements about the specificities of it uh, upcoming to the weekend because I want people to show up there. I want people to show up there and hang out at different points of the weekend. And we're going to be revealing little snippets of news all weekend long uh, just for that engagement aspect, just because we get energized when we see you guys. Yeah. Voice and Boom is here. What's up, buddy? Uh, <laughs> and we just want to make sure that um, that we're, you know, being as uh, open and honest and transparent with you as possible about our plans, because we hate doing this all in secret all the time. And that's what we've been doing for months. And it's time to, like, let it all out there. Uh, and so, yeah, I just I want to get. I don't know. I want to spend a week and a half getting like just stoking the fire of the nation and get everybody that we can out there to uh, to watch this thing. I want to get 2000 people watching this thing at once. We're Valley. never going to have 2000 people. Watching. <laughs> You're out of your mind. I think so we could. I think, had, we could. I think we had 1500 once, which was a coup. And that lasted for all about 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> and then Grant made a joke and it went down to like 900. <laughs> Uh, there is no way we'll get 2,000 out of your mind. But hey, if we break 1,000 uh, at one time, that would be great. You think we can get two? I think that we can get two. I think that 1,500 was what? The release of Strange Aeons, I think. It might, was, have been, yeah. it might have been. Um, but, you know, I think that the Nation can do it, can pull together. Well, uh, it's, and it's we'll be type trying of, as well. It's the type of thing that you want to see live. Because like Joe said, we're going to be doing reveals. But they're reveals that are going to require action on the part of the Nation. You know, and that's an important thing. Like the way we're tying this into uh, fundraising to get us back on track. Uh, to, we're going to kind of lay out our plan for you, or like how we're going to do this. We're going to need your help, and so tuning in and being an active part of that, I think, is going to be part of the excitement. Seeing these goals achieved as we go uh, throughout the weekend, I think it's going to be a really exciting time to kind of see what the future of uh, at least through the end of the year and maybe a little bit about what's happening next year because i mean we've been planning what is happening well into at this point 2022 uh, 2023 2020, i forgot yeah 2023 and so we're not going to tell you too too much about that but i mean there is a lot of exciting stuff on the horizon and if you watch all weekend long you're going to want to see it live as we reveal <laughs> it giveaways we're talking Norse foundry dice sets giveaways uh, all dice weekend sets. long uh, That's what I'm game. saying, dude. That's what I think you're underestimating is like the power of the giveaways, the news, the excitement Linus of Linus masks. <laughs> Linus masks. Get Those them while so they're terrifying. hot. <laughs> you look like, I don't know if anybody's going to get this reference, but it makes you look kind of like the aliens in Outer Wilds, uh, which is a video game that you don't know about. But they have four eyes. They have two here and two right here. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> uh, you say we can't get... 2,000 people, and I say, you're out of your mind. I say, I believe we can. We've had 1,500 before. We had 1,500 in 2020. Okay. Why not Why not 2K? Why not 2K? See what I just did there? No, that's fun. See, get, it to, <laughs> get to that number just to spite me, okay? <laughs> I win, either way. If we don't get true. 2K, I got to rub it in Joe's face. And, I, and I get embarrassed, and we all get embarrassed. We're incredibly embarrassed. successful, right. I don't... <laughs> Maybe like 1999 would be funny because then I, I doubly win. <laughs> right, 1999. Yeah, 1, anyway, uh, once again, that's going to be next start of Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern as we're kicking this off. I don't even know why I decided to do this. We've been talking about this for a while. Now that it's getting close, I'm like, yeah. I got to do all this fucking prep. This is Well, huge. that's the crazy thing. It's like I'm sitting here working on this thing because I'm laying out a schedule for that entire week, and that's going to include properly timed breaks, uh, exciting different content besides just the game, and also interacting with the community to let them know what the news is and how we're going to reveal it in these small snippets so that we don't take too much away from the game, right. but that we give an exciting weekend of just – of just niche business all weekend long. Uh, but then I think like, oh my God, if I had to GM like 11 hours, like I was thinking about it today, like you gotta do all those roll 20 maps. You have to have, I mean, everything planned for what we could do over a course of like 11 hours. And like, don't think like, oh, I'll finish this session and just prep for the next one the next day. Like 
Yeah. You've got yeah. a you got a child. Like you got you can't just I don't know no. how you're gonna do it. No, it's a terrible idea. The more I think You're right, we we should cancel it. I, I've thought about this all week as we've been like <laughs> putting the finishing touches on these plans. I'm like, why did I we could have done this over three weekends? Why'd we have to do a marathon? We're not marathon gamers. But it's too late. <laughs> we're we're pot committed, we're doing it. Saturday, 6 p.m. It starts. We'll probably go to about 10 ish or until uh, Matthew says, I have to go to bed. Uh, and then Sunday, we'll start at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then Monday, 7 p.m., we're going to try and wrap it up. I mean, are we going to get to the final fight? Are you guys going to level up? Are we going to finish book one? Are we going to start book two? I haven't read it. Uh, <laughs> Class counted live, baby. It's coming back. Yes. The whole crew, uh, uh, I mean, just all these characters. It's just going to be so much fun, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really thrilled. Couldn't be more excited. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Hell, we're going to have a good time. We will see you next Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern, right on this channel. 2000! 1999. <laughs> have a good whatever day of the week it is, everybody. Friday? Is it Friday? <laughs>